I was in South Africa, and it was during the time of the struggle back in the mid-80s. And I was doing a rally in Cape Town, and there was people of all races that had gathered. And there was a band that was playing, and I was seated on the platform and a huge crowd. And I looked out, and I could see a three or four rows down, there was a man that was obviously blind because he had no, no eyeballs. There was just uh, skin across his eyes. And, and he had a beautiful smile on his face. And I was so moved and touched with his smile and, and his demeanor. And the Lord spoke and said, go down to him. And in invite him to touch the cross. The cross was in front of the platform like this. So I, as the music was playing, I turned and walked down and came up to him and I said, do you speak English? He said, yes. I said, I'm the man that is carrying the cross. And he reached out to grab my hand and I grabbed his hand and I said, would you like to feel the cross? And he said, yes. This man, blind from birth, began to, I put his hand on the cross. Now, he had never seen the cross, but he, he, was, he began to feel it. And, and, and he would feel all the way up. And then he got down on his knees and he was, he, he was touching the cross every little bit, every little bit. And then he had kissed the cross and he, had, he went all the way down to the wheel. And, and as he was, I, I'm not doing it justice, the way he was touching, it was like a master violinist playing. I mean, it, it, it was... The, the music quit playing. The musicians were weeping. The crowd was weeping as that blind man felt the cross and everybody looked at the cross differently now. They were weeping. And, and many of us, the cross, the symbol of the crucifixion here of Jesus, has become so commonplace till we've lost the freshness of the early church that was so thrilled that Jesus had died and rose again and conquered death, hell, and the grave till they went out with zeal and enthusiasm and fire to proclaim that message to the world. Perhaps God needs to touch our hearts that our eyes may see that the cross, the power of God unto salvation and be willing to share that message with your friends, your neighbors, and the entire world. If you would like to know Jesus and invite him into your heart, please pray this prayer with me now. Dear God, I need you, and as best as I know how, I give you my life. I believe Jesus died on the cross for my sins, arose from the dead, and ascended into heaven. I repent of my sins and welcome Jesus into my heart to be my Lord and Saviour. Write my name in your book and make my home in heaven. I am not ashamed of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayer and saving my soul. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.